Okay. Okay, so now you've created your map for math and um, you're not quite done with it. You'll be working on this over the semester. So you're going to be saving these drafts. Now, these drafts are going to be saved as an ISF, which is really great because it's the automatic save for this program. So what you'll do is when you're done for, for the day or done for the moment, you want to come back to it later, you want to make sure that you go to File, Save, and then you can save it as whatever you want. I'm going to save it as Subtraction Web Draft just so I know that I'm still working on this one. And where you save it to now, here's the important part. Because you're working either on our computer at ASU on campus, or you're working on the virtual desktop off campus, you do not want to save it to your desktop because your desktop is not really yours. What you want to do is you're going to just save it into your Dropbox, which is as easy as easy can be. So you go down to Dropbox where it says, where do you want to save it? Not to Documents, not to Desktop. I want to save it to Dropbox. Now everybody in this class has a Dropbox account. Where am I saving it to? Dropbox. What's it called? Subtraction Web Draft. And I'm going to click Save. Now you can tell that it's saved correctly because it says subtraction web draft and it's saved as an ISF. That means that when you open it again, you'll be able to continue to add to it throughout the semester. And I'm going to show you how to do that next. So I'm going to check my Dropbox and make sure that it went in there. Here's my Dropbox. And voila, there it is, subtraction web draft. So the next time you want to work on this draft, you go to your Dropbox, you find your document, and you open it up, and you have started again. Now you need to make sure that if you are on the virtual desktop, that you sign into the virtual desktop first so that it can access that software. Remember, it won't have the software on the computers off campus. So in order to be able to connect to that software and open this document, you have to connect to your virtual desktop first. If you're on campus, then all you have to do is go to one of the computers on campus, open the software, and then you can open your document, just like I did here. So now, let's say I'm all done with my document. I've been working on it for weeks and weeks and weeks. Now, let's see, how are we going to save this as a PDF? Because remember, it has to be saved as a PDF in order to upload it to TK20. And this is really easy. Again, the software makes it very simple. So now I'm all done. It's exactly the way I want it. And I'm going to upload it to TK20 ASAP. The problem is, is that TK20 won't take an ISF file. So we need to turn it into a PDF, which is more universal. And that's easy to do. If you look over here, I'm going to move this a little bit. If you look over here where it says File, it says Export to PDF File. Easy to do, right? What am I going to call it? Well, it's not a draft anymore. Now it's just going to be called Subtraction Web Final or whatever your math instructor tells you to title it. And I'm saving it again to Dropbox. Dropbox is like your personal file folder in the cloud. So I'm going to save it to Dropbox again and this is my final. It will be saved not as an ISF but as a PDF. Right? So let's see. And here it is. You can see this is my draft, in case I decide I do want to make some changes. And then this is my final PDF. And you can check and see how it's going to look. When you go to upload it to TK20, make sure you upload the one that's the PDF. Okay? And that is as easy as can be. 
you have any questions, just give me a call or email and I'll be happy to help you out.